Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. In this session, let us discuss some questions which are frequently asked in written tests. Now, these questions are logical questions. Now, the first question, a written test is conducted by an IT company which has 60 questions in it. One mark is given for every correct answer, but there is a negative mark of 1 by 4 for every wrong answer. If a student attempts all the questions and scores 40 marks, then how many questions did he answer correctly? Now, this particular question can be answered in two ways. First, we can answer this question by using variables. Now, let us suppose the number of questions he answered correctly is x and the number of questions he answered wrongly is y. Then definitely x plus y should be equal to 60. That is the total number of questions answered correctly plus number of questions answered wrongly should be equal to totally 60. For every correct answer, he scores 1 mark. So, 1 into number of questions answered correctly will be x plus, but for every wrong answer, he loses 1 fourth mark, loses that means it is minus. So, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 into y should be equal to, he scored totally 40 marks. Now, solving this, I subtract these two, x and x get cancelled, y minus of minus plus, so y plus 1 by 4th of y should be equal to 20, so it is 5 by 4 into y is 20 or y is equal to 20 into 4 by 5, 5 fourths, 4 into 4, 16. So, the number of questions he answered wrongly is 16. So, the number of questions he answered correctly that is x should be 60 minus 16 which is 44. Now, this is one way of solving this particular problem, but instead of we solving this particular problem in this lengthy way, we can answer it directly thinking logically. For every correct answer, he is given one mark, but for every wrong answer, there is a negative mark of one fourth. So, if a student answers a question wrongly, then how many marks is he going to lose? Definitely, if he answers a, questions, a question wrongly, he is going to lose 1 plus 1 by 4, that is totally 5 by 4. Actually, the student can score a maximum of 60 marks because he attempted all the questions, but he scored only 40 marks. That means he lost 20 marks. For every wrong answer, he will be losing 5 by 4 of marks. So, if he has lost a total of 20 marks, then how many, mar how many questions did he answer wrongly? It should be 20 by 5 by 4 which is 20 into 4 by 5, so 4 into 4, 16. So, the number of questions he answered wrongly is 16. So, the number of questions he answered correctly should be 60 minus 16, which is 44. So, these are the two methods in which we can answer this particular question. Now, let us look into one more question of the same model. Let us look into the second question. A worker was employed in the month of June to do a particular work for the complete month on all the days. He was employed under a condition that he will be paid rupees 500 for each day he works, but has to pay a fine of rupees 100 if he is absent. If the worker earns a total of rupees 12,000, then how many days did he work? Now, this worker was employed in the month of June to do the work on all the days in that particular month. 
and we know that in the month of june there are totally 30 days so the worker has to work for totally 30 days now each day he will be paid rupees 500 so definitely the maximum money what he can earn in the month of june will be 30 into 500 which is 15000 but here he is saying that totally he earned only 12000 rupees that means definitely he was absent for few days and there is a condition that for every day he works he will be paid 500 rupees but if he is absent on any particular day he has to pay a fine of rupees 100 now logically speaking how can we answer this question now the total money that can be earned by the worker will be 30 days into 500 per day which is totally 15,000 rupees. But the worker earned only 12,000 rupees. That means he lost 3,000 rupees. So, we know that if a worker does not work on any particular day, he has to pay a fine of 100 rupees. So, what we need to think is, if a worker does not work on any particular day, how much money is he going to lose? Definitely he is going to lose a total of rupees 600 because he will not be paid 500 and he has to pay a fine of 100. So totally he will be losing 500 plus 100 that is 600. So he will be losing 600 for one particular day. Totally he lost here 3000 rupees. So for how many days he did not work? 3000 by 600 it is 5 days so the worker was absent for 5 days so how many days did he work 30 minus 5 25 so the worker worked totally for 25 days thank you for watching for more videos subscribe to nareshati